All right, we are back in. Um, have Did I gone you... through this door? Yeah, that's where you came. That's where I came from. Right, got disoriented there. <clears throat> we are back in the cathedral, which is really I have to do this again. Eh, well, no experience. This fire world those through at the top. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually getting kind of low on tech points. <clears throat> Might have to shelter at the next save point. <laughs> What? No. Alright, I'm just glitching it on me. <clears throat> Fire warrior! I like how they all die, like, in sequence. Really, 49? Come on, frog. <laughs> Your has 50 HP. You knew that. <laughs> you had to be aware of that. Even with his iron sword. He still, he still is nothing but a punk. Ah, oh, he just, uh, like, just a little less. He needs, to, he needs to level up, then he'll one-shot the gargoyle. The load sword is, though, is really useful to get, though, because it might Chrono one-shot a lot of these enemies. Worth it. Chrono magically playing the organ without using his hands. <laughs> Very well for not using his hands. I like to think he's actually playing it with his penis. It's really the only... I usually think of Chrono doing most things with his penis. <laughs> I mean, at least a lot of fan art has depicted it that way. <laughs> um, so now where do I... Go to where the no entry sign was. Ah, uh, yes. You can go to the right, I mean to the left. Um, or is there oh, right? yeah. Now that I've gone all the way to the right, I will decide to go back and go to the left. That's good. There's another sleeping guard. I killed the sleeping guard, they replaced him with another sleeping guard. This place is very well run. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly efficient. Uh, just try it. Just do it again. I don't have the MP for it, do I? Yeah, you have enough for. It only takes oh, yeah, two for one. <laughs> yeah. Really, I just can't. There, there you we go. go. You must have selected the. I wish there was a way of knowing which one you were selecting. Yeah. It's a little misleading in its appearance. Mm. Come on, frog. I'm gonna pull you away here. She is a lot slower than they are. Ah, oh, he sucked the life right out of me. There we go. He did bat stuff. How dare he do bat stuff to me. Luca le Luca's level up. We only need Frog to level up so we can kill gargoyles. Come on, game. Now there's a door here. Playing the organ totally summoned to that door. Fuck you guys. Yeah, just, oh, no, this, this is not gonna... Uh, can, we talk, <laughs> can we talk about this? Now we don't have to fight. Maybe, right? the, maybe it's a gang war between henches. If I and wait long enough, will they just die of natural causes? <laughs> is that how games work? Now Chrono is out of MP, so he's back to the old uh, sword and board. Cutting board? Back to the cutting board. <laughs> back to the sword and board. <laughs> sword and or board. Oh. Where'd Frog go? He's in that nugget. <laughs> Deep. And not sexually, because I don't think that looks possible. <laughs> they have snake bodies. It's like the age-old mermaid question. <laughs> yeah, which half? <laughs> don't answer that question in the comments. <laughs> We're not looking for you to answer the question in the if comments. If you're not familiar with that question, please Google it. <laughs> please. Google image. Oh, you can do an animated Google image search now. You can specifically look for GIFs. Oh, uh, yeah. It's awful. <laughs> Not awful as a bat. Like, you can just, like, Google animated GIFs of boobs now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, know what blog I had forgotten about until just now? Kitties and Titties. Ah, oh, that's a good blog. That was so good. Just the most adorable <laughs> cats and just a lot of really, really attractive women. And really attractive ladies. With exposed breasts. You know, showing, showing that to Angus and CSP one day, it was like I'd opened like a whole new world for him. <laughs> Not that we endorse pornography. What? Totally. Do we? Sure. What's, oh, wrong? Okay. What's wrong with pornography? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not <laughs> sure you're like, like you openly endorse it. Eh. Okay. I don't know. I think it's a good thing to be out there. It's just like I'm not against the seal hunt, but I don't want to say like I'm for it. <laughs> Um, should we shelter? Yes, I think so. This seems like a, a like, boss room. Like an appropriate kind of sheltering moment. Mm. I feel appropriately sheltered. I could depict uh, should, uh, save as well. 
Depicts the what? Like it depicts your like the healing of your HP and your MP separately. Mm. It's like, ooh, your health. Ooh, your MP. There's a lot of neat little things they did in this game. Of which There's I There's a lot of uh, care and like, attention to detail. Mm. So I always think this is lean. Potentially Lena. Le Leany. Leany. Um, I'll say lean. You are good in here. Frog. Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. All right. Be careful in combat. I would never think of it. I was just gonna let him hit right, me in the now, face. Now, what will the Chancellor transform into? Is the question. Something big and hideous, I assume. <laughs> How do you jump off this mortal coil? True form, change. That, oh, that, that's there's so the Dragon Ball Z. There's the Akira Toriyama coming out, right? Yeah. He's a hideous slug beetle. Oh no, he's like a like an armadillo. The big demon armadillo. Like a, like a jello armadillo. Armadillo. He's like if uh, an armadillo had a baby. Oh, you should X strike. Go down one more. Oh, yeah, should. Um... I'm gonna turn this up a bit because I think you should all hear the. This boss music. This is from a thing. Isn't it? What? What is this? Not that I know. You should get her to flame toss him when they're. Because she's the odd one out. Oh, uh, yeah. Drew. Yeah, like, this music's in a different game as well, isn't it? Maybe. Also, I'm thinking of Chrono Cross, maybe? Why didn't you, uh. Why didn't you X Striker? Uh. Drew. I was busy thinking about, uh, music. So, this game originally. Like, I've heard this music in a different game, I'm quite certain. It might, it might be Chrono Cross. This game, the score was originally composed by. You know, spin else. slash Yakuza Needle Attack. They're different, but. Oh, snap. Same. Ooh. Wow. Is there. Do we have a revive? Uh, totally. We have a bunch. Nice. nice. I'd probably tonic her when she comes back, too. Yeah. She should actually probably just be on healing detail. Yeah, it's <laughs> the first difficult thing I've fought, so I'm not really used mm. to a fight being difficult. Weird. No, combo. There you go. He's amping up to do the... Drew! It seems like he's countering with Drew. Yeah. Ah, well. X-Ray does a lot of damage. It does. Well, it looks pretty cool. And everything happens pretty fast, too. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, really no, like, waiting around for shit to happen. Like, it got tonic. It just, like, it was used. Hmm. This must be an incredibly well-optimized game for all that to happen. Because, remember, this was stored on a cartridge. <laughs> That's so cool, actually. Like, it makes a different pattern depending on where the enemy is. Yep. Because you're always in a different spot in relation to him. It's so cool. No, this is actually kind of important. You have to open one of these treasure chests. Because, like, one of them forwards the plot, the other one's just a treasure chest, I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Yeah. I so, love the victory music in this game. Yeah. Also the same, I believe, as in Chrono Cross. Because I, I know this is, like, this is very familiar to me as well. Oh, yeah. So this game, the score was originally composed by someone whose name I... Can't yeah, think. I mean, he's... I don't know. I mean, who remembers... Video game composers' names, unless they're really prolific. Yeah, um, but so, that, the original composer came very sick. Which one do I want to open? Maybe the. Go with. I'm gonna go with the right. My instincts tell me right. Okay. Nice. Mid ether. Good call. Bam. The, the left one is the chancellor. Is, oh, the chancellor. Yeah. But the. So anyway, the the original composer became sick and was unable to finish composing. At which point, Nobuo. I guess I'm another one anyway. Oh, I thought I'm sorry. That's all right. It was a good, it's a good thing to think about just in case. Yep. Uh, Nobuo Uematsu took over, uh, known composer for the Final Fantasy series. I wonder how much of this like he did in comparison to the first guy. Yeah, I don't know. Because it does. It'd be cool to see like sort of the breakdown of who did which track. It does feel. No buo -y. Hmm. But maybe that's just because it's a Japanese RPG. <laughs> hey, 
His music, his theme's actually really nice. Mm. So I just peace out of here now? Yeah, so Frog is just... We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom. <laughs> well, I've really made a big, uh... <laughs> a big change. <laughs> nope, not really. Everything is... Like, no one ever mentions the hero Chrono in the future. <laughs> yeah, true. So, is there anything else to do in the castle? No, we pretty much checked it all out. Oh, wait, no, you have to go back to where Marley disappeared. Oh, right, which was... The right tower. The eastern tower. right Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 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 Nope. All just, so many empty rooms, oh my god. Stop it. Stop it, game. Like Chrono? Chrono is? <laughs> Chrono is rather pretty. So now we have a time anomaly. And Marley just like slamming into the ground. Because there. the queen <laughs> isn't dead now. Or isn't going to die. It's actually a lot like Nine where she calls herself a different name and you just stick with that for the rest of the game. <laughs> we should have named her Lamp. Oh, should have. Mr. Chance. You wanted to be a name purist, and I, I want to fuck everything up. Well, I, I <laughs> want to do these, these as completionist guides, right? So I like sticking to the... This has nothing to do with completion. <laughs> there have been... The 33rd. Wow. <laughs> you think they'd change up the names? <laughs> it's really working for them. That's, and that's okay, what I'm going to say here. Wrong. I wouldn't have. Wrong, I would have. I wonder if that changes anything. It's funny, in, uh, there's a JRPG I played a lot of called Skies of Arcadia, where your responses, in-game responses like that actually change your rating until eventually you can become, like, Vice King of Pirates. <laughs> Vice King, what a title. No, his name is Vice. Or, oh. Or, or Vise. Right. I think Vise. I remember that. I did play a bit of that game. Oh, man, we should do that game. Frog. Man. To the fault of mine which endangered the queen. His theme is great. Our name is super British. I shall depart for good. There's a little Scottish at the end there. It was. Why does everything I do sound like a leprechaun? <laughs> you always want to do the queen is uncanny. Why is he the only British one? Kronok, you have potential to be a good swordsman. I'm, he's already a better swordsman than you are. <laughs> Go to hell. Yeah. Also, he, hell? Like, what is Chrono do? Is he just like a sociopath? Does he just like train his sword fighting uh, on squirrels in the backyard or something? <laughs> he has a load sword. He just, like, he's that guy who just spends more money on his stuff and therefore is better than you at it. That's how guitarists work, people. Yep. <laughs> Don't you for... Get about it. Do I have to actually walk back through the forest? That sucks. We have to return Marley to her original time now. Which is there anything over this way? Or am I Oh, one of those black chests I can't open. Good to know that's there. So there are certain yeah, I don't I don't remember the Wraith of the Forest. I didn't play this, but uh You'll figure it out. <laughs> there are certain time periods that add up in this. Actually I think it might just be six hundred AD and one thousand AD. Or like the same except for the buildings. Yeah, maybe. So, Marl! He's back in our party now. You're killing me. <laughs> Softly. With my song. You're not singing. My though. song is Marl! <laughs> Wait a second. Marl! Marl, Marl! Marl, girl! I just want you to Merle, girl. It's like that uh, White Stripe song. You know, <laughs> be like a squirrel, girl. Oh, see, I thought dude, you, it was going to be I just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> really, was that Brock actually just these circus imps? They, they have trick fights a lot of this game, actually. Everything's a mimic. Marl right in the air. This freezes there. Are you okay, Marley? <laughs> it 
It's not good, is it? It's like she's at the end of some bad 80s movie. <laughs> Don't you fuck it out of me. And while Breakfast Club might not belong to the... It, it certainly belongs to the genre of bad 80s movies. Yeah. I miss Frog. Yeah, Frog was a lot better than Marley. But I'm pretty sure they both just play the part of healer. What's actually... Oh yeah, so oh, Aura World Aura. is your group heal. Cool. That's a uh, pretty neat... There's a lot of stuff that revolves around Aura, uh, around Cyclone. Um, so where are we heading now? We're heading back to the warp. Oh, right. On, uh, we're heading you, you might want to go to True Sand and heal and save. It's the one on the right there. Oh, right. That's incorrect. I didn't mean the direction. But... East. <laughs> That is kind of weird that right <laughs> means both a direction and an affirmation that you are correct. Yeah, that's, you know, homonyms in the English language. <laughs> homonymph? <laughs> you see that picnic face sketch with the homonymph? No. Is she really horny for homonyms? Is that the idea? No, he's just like, he's, it's sort of like this, like, more of like a satyr. He's just like this this wood being who just like speaks entirely like in homonyms. It's good. That was kind of fun. <laughs> it's in the last episode of their show. Anyone uh, watching this who has never heard of Picnic Face, they are a originally locally based, a lot of them are in Toronto now, a uh, comedy troupe known for things such as Power Thirst. Um, they had a 12 Welcome to Halifax. Yeah, they had a 12-episode uh, comedy series on the Comedy Network. You can watch on the Comedy Network's website, or if you live somewhere outside of Canada, anywhere where you can pirate fine TV shows. Um, really funny if you're into sort of very... very Pretty surreal sketch yeah, humor. Different surreal sort of sketch humor. Really funny stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's more surreal or less surreal than Robot Chicken. It's different surreal. Yeah. Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken is like always parody, mm. so it sort of has a different feel to it. Um, Robot Chicken has a lot of skits that are like five seconds long. Yeah, and one of them is just a like. There's one where there's a a pig in the background with a wedding veil on, and a guy shows up in the foreground with his face in the camera, and he's got like a top hat, and he goes, "I'm gonna that pig," <laughs> and that's like the whole skit, right? Like that's it. <laughs> That's what I think is the... Like, the five-minute-long sketches on Robot Chicken aren't as good, mm. but the second-long ones are pretty funny. <laughs> um, yeah, watch Pit in the Face's show. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, that's good. They also have a film called Roller Town. Oh, yeah. Uh, which, if you happen to live in the States or have access to American Netflix, you can view on there. You can view Roller Town on American Netflix. Yes. But not on Canadian Netflix. Different uh, distributors per country. For a movie made by a Canadian comedy troupe. Yep. Well, probably because their distributor believes that in Canada maybe they have more potential than just Netflix. Like, maybe mm. they can... I mean, they haven't done anything in terms of a release yet. Um, like, it hasn't even been released to video? No. Really? I mean, it's been... Like, it had a, a theatrical run. Like, yeah, it's festival run, had a legitimate theatrical run... No, it's on iTunes somewhere as well, I believe, but that might also just be in the States. That's weird. But anyway, Roller Town. If you can watch it, it's good. Picnic Faces movie. Uh, the uh, theatrical version isn't quite as good as the original director's cut. But, oh, really? Well, just they cut some... I mean, with what they cut out and what they left in, there are some points that are a little disjointed, like knowing what it's supposed to be. All right. I don't know what it's like... like I don't know what it's like seeing cold in the theatrical cut, but... Mm. So everyone's just like, time traveling and fighting imps was so much fun. Let's do that again sometime. I'm glad my teleportation device, like, <laughs> ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. And I have to take Mar home. I try Where did to go? She, she just went off to go home. Okay. She was like, it was fun time traveling to fight with you guys. I gotta run. 
something like that. I didn't really read. Is there anything we can do here now after the fact? Or I don't think so. So Luca had to run off. She's got calibrations to do. Yep. Got Mass Effect reference for those of you out there. Take it on the bench. So what if you want a warrior to wizard hundreds of years ago? Is that Magus? Is Magus that wizard? I believe that's what we're Is Magus about. that Magus? Oh, cool. this race. I'm going to stop the, the green ambler from winning. Yeah, if you're trying to do this the slow way without an emulator or a speed up <laughs> button, that's a good way to win those races. If you walk on top of someone, they go slower. Alright, well that's uh, a whole section of that. The whole, <laughs> basically, you know, sort of prelude of the game out of the way. Yeah. We're back! We're back! I like how they title each section of the game. That's mm. kind of cool. So um, now we have to go to the castle. Yes. Do you want to call it? A, how long has it been? Not that long. Yeah, all right. To the castle. Based on it being the same layout. The mayor's manor? Is that the castle? No, it's not. No, the, the castle the, is over... Through the... This way. Oh, wait. Try the market. The guy might be back now. Maybe you can buy some. It's the bottom left here. Though. So it is. Oh, he's back. There's no uh, animal on his desk. That Fritz Mercury Maybe we should go to the pier. Maybe. Um, alright. So we should buy an iron bow. And uh, oh, we, we actually have a maiden suit that I never equipped. Yeah. Right one. Um, cool. Buy some more tonics, I guess. Nah, you're fine. Maybe yeah, you just look a good six. Yeah, maybe. I'll buy I'll replace the six I used. We have enough revives. Get, get some more shelters. A couple shelters, yeah. Well, like I usually like to... Five... Yeah, they're not that expensive. We have a fair bit of money. Yep. I usually like to carry anywhere between ten and five tents. Yeah. Um, where's the pier? Where's the pier? Should I uh, oh, down, down by... Uh, so you can walk through those two houses. Go... That... Yeah. Oh, cool. There you go down to the end. Really interesting world map. Mm. Take it off. It's Sir Lonnie. One of these guys. Is this guy that Fritz? Let's see. It's a whirlpool. Only Fritz would return and ask for nothing more. But the guy at the shop said Fritz was here. We can I just, can I just go to this place called Poor? Maybe. Poor. Sure. Ch poor? Poor A? I've never done it. At, at this part of the game. Maybe there's like cool stuff there I can buy. There we go. Maybe that's why they were giving me the hint about the pier. Maybe, yeah. Ooh. Shit's getting real. We are supposed to go back to the castle right now, so we're probably kidnapping a princess. <laughs> hey, Crono, can you walk me home? Yes, let's sail across the ocean. <laughs> I wanted you to take me home. <laughs> Sorry, Marl. The ocean. Hey, little kid. <coughs> Nothing like a fairy ride. Why don't you just talk to the mom there? Fine. What's up, mom? Thank you for every chance I get. She's pumped about this it. This is an obsessed family. Thank God Chrono's the one who determines when the fairy goes, apparently. Snail stop. Interesting. I am not a snail. What is that bird playing the piano? It's not a bird, it's a... Uh... Looks like a huge bird. No, it's some kind of thing. I'm the piano man! Play a sad one, Joe. Something upbeat, please. I, I'm not... The upbeat is actually a sweet one, I think. Pretty awesome. It's amazing he can play. That that is also what I've across. It's amazing he can play the drums on his piano. It's pretty clearly like a hi hat noise going there. <laughs> Talk to the proprietor. Yeah, that is so in across. Boss it's one of the boss fight games, I believe. Okay. Probably wrong about all this. Someone in the comments will be like, none of these in the moon, it's all bleh. Those of you who do that. But yeah, like, like, I know all these songs. I haven't played this game in like, I don't know, like eight years. And you only played it for a little while. Right? Yeah. Someone who joins with humans. Like that piano player. I'm going to say that to all piano players from now on. I'm really glad that you coexist with humans. It's really nice of you to do that. A woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that <laughs> once forest to the north. We'll probably meet her at some point. Now talk to the bartender. Oh, right. You did say that a couple times. Best jerky in town. Woof. 
pretty expensive nope. for jerky. Can't, can't afford that jerky. What if we could, though? What would it do? Hmm. Should we fundraise to get some jerky? Probably something important. What fools. Just, <laughs> what fools tips back in. Like, he's not even putting that mug down. Keep going. Funny the music. Yeah, it's cool. Like, a lot of this music I do think I recognize from Chrono Cross, which is cool. That they were very true to the original score. Mm -hmm. Even though the games are really different. Yeah. So nothing new here. Yeah, so... Oh, did you equip Marley? I didn't equip any of my new stuff, you know. I should make a point of doing it. <laughs> Iron Bow. And the Maiden Suit. What's the ribbon do? Does the Maiden Suit have like a chastity belt like built in? <laughs> is, that, is that what that is? I hope so. Maidens only. Only the Pierre and Chaste. That's all I want, wearing armor. Alright, well, I think this is a bit of an unnecessary detour. Oh, the other mayor's manor. Of the mayor of Poor? Maybe you can go over the bridge to get back. Up to the north? Maybe. What are the areas of, like, this is a mountain pass? I can... Might be some, like, area here somewhere that I can actually enter. I don't believe so. <laughs> and we're back. Cool. To the castle. That amount of distance certainly required a fairy ride to cover. <laughs> now the fairy's stuck down there. Forever. Ooh. Go what? south there. Get in there. Ah! These are not very fun guys. Hitake! I bet you that just means mushroom in Japanese or something. Hitake? I don't know. Maybe. So uh, there's the like the shiitake mushrooms, which people oh, always yeah. like make fun of, right? The shiitake. The bunt, the brunt that uh, Austin Powers joke. <laughs> oh, Hatake, a power tab, yes. Hatake is Takashi's family name in Naruto. I can tell you that, like with an A instead of an E. Which ones? He's uh, like their like the leader. The like, sunset, yeah. yeah. I always called him Kakashi. Well, I don't know. It's like the more I learn about pronouncing Japanese things, it would like, be Kakashi. Kakashi, like you wouldn't stress one ka over the other. Oh, uh, okay. Like, it wouldn't be Kakashi because that would like there'd be a difference between would, the kas. Oh, uh, okay. So it wouldn't be Kakashi. It would be. It'd be Kakashi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. That like, at the bottom is probably. Like, there's nothing to emphasize one of like emphasize one over the other. Okay. So, I was like, I would. That's I, a very like English sort of thing to do. <laughs> I said, Princess Mononoke, for a long time. Yeah. Where I learned that 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 noise just doesn't exist as much yeah. in Japanese. Yeah. Okay. Mononoke. Then I watched it in its original Japanese because I'm a cool guy like that. <laughs> oh, that fucking roly poly just or that poly just yeah. skipped out. <laughs> This game does suffer, I think, a little bit from palette swapping. Mm. But as many of you know, palette swapping is just a cheap, easy way to save memory space on <laughs> games that didn't have a whole lot of memory space. I think once we're through this forest, and like, I'm, I'm sure this game made like as much I'll use of its memory that. space as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a long game. This is a long, like, beautiful SNES game. Mm. Unfortunately, the air of the cartridge was not to last, as the is, cartridge... Is that unfortunate? Well, um, just that the cartridge wasn't good enough. And it, it is what caused Final Fantasy Square Enix to move away to move from... To, the... Yeah, to become a Sony franchise yeah. instead of a Nintendo franchise. Because the games that they wanted to make could only be... Like, if they wanted to make Final Fantasy VII, this. it would have been on... 30-some cartridges, <laughs> right? 
It still had to be on four C or three. It's only three CDs. Four CDs for. <laughs> what are four CDs? Four, uh, nine. Nine was on four discs. Yup. Yeah. yeah. And Legend of the Dragoon. Okay, Force, Dragoon. Uh, was it four or was it three? I thought it was four, but it might be three. Uh, I would find it weird if Legend of the Dragoon was four, just because I don't feel like it's that long. Yeah. Like not not respectively to PlayStation era JRPGs, which were stupid long. Yeah, uh, yeah. Legend of the Dragoon is four. I am pretty sure. I think like four and Final Fantasy nine are like the four disc, like PlayStation JRPGs. Okay. All right. Save it here. We will cut this off here. When we come back. Returning Marley to her father. Marl! Talk to you guys later.